The end purpose of dashboards is to make them uh, interactive and dynamic so that people can go quickly and easily from um, data to insight to action. And one way that CRM analytics uh, enables that is with widget interactions. And you say, well, what are those? I'm glad you asked. Let's have a quick look. We're going to go into this simple dashboard that I've built. And what I want to be able to do is I want to dive into further detail about my um, pipeline simply by clicking on a widget or uh, a chart. Uh, this is the detail page. And then this is the home page. So how do we um, make this happen? Now previously, you know, we could have grabbed a link from over here. And we could have put that say here, we could have gone in and, um, you know, maybe linked it to uh, a page in the layout, and then put a title here, detail page, etc. But don't have to do that anymore. First thing I'm going to I'm going to do is I'm going to say, click chart to drill down. And so that people know what they have to do. Yeah, let's make that just a little bit larger. Okay, great. And what we're going to do now is let's add and interaction. So over here on the right hand side, you can see interactions. And we're going to say, uh, click, yep, let's add our action. Now you have different options. Um, in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to um, link to a page uh, in the layout. And let's go ahead and select the page, which will be detail. Now, you can do other things with interactions. For example, you can kick off a uh, flow. Uh, in Salesforce, an automation. And uh, we'll probably look at that some other time. But for today, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. So let's click apply here. And then what we want to do also is add uh, another interaction. So let's just quickly unlink that so we don't mess up the one on the other page. Let's add an interaction. Yep, click. And of course, this is where you see those other options. You know, start a flow, for example. But what we're going to do is let's go link to page in layout. Let's click on select home. Great. All right. Now, what we should be able to do, just double check, what we should be able to do is in preview mode, let's go in here and say, right, when I want to drill down, I've clicked on that chart. When I want to go back to the initial view, I click on the title. What that enables me to do from a user perspective, if I'm looking at a dashboard and I've got my charts and my table down here, but I want to drill down a little further, particularly in this case by stage, then I'll select this here. And that enables me, for example, to drill into uh, everything except perhaps negotiation stage. And then I can go back to my filtered initial view. That's really easy. Uh, it's quick to build. Uh, it's super functional. Great little feature. I hope that you'll try it out for yourself and uh, begin to master Serum Analytics. Thank you.